All right, guys. So, what we got here is a Ryobi four-cylinder. And what we got here is a hedge trimmer attachment here. And what I already did to it is I lubed it up. I used all-purpose machine oil from Singer. So this is this is light duty stuff, sewing machine oil, um, locks, door hinges, you know, things like that. Those things around the house. It's good to have. Or, or even trimmers. Yeah. Anything that has a small gearing mechanism or um, um, anything that takes light duty oil. It's always good to have one of those laying around. So this is the manual here. But uh, if you guys got a hard time reading that, these instructions here on the side of the box are pretty easy. I mean, you got 3 8 capacity for cutting. You got a 17 and a half inch dual action blade. Um, you also have this, this storage um, sheath that goes back on the blade when you're done. That way, when you store it, your blade's not going to get bumped around, uh, your teeth missing, bent, or whatever. Um, it's a good little thing to have. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to put this on in a bit. All right. All right, what you do here is you unloosen this screw here, and then you pull off your trimmer here. And inside there, there's a square, um, um, it's, it's, it's a shaft that has a square end on it. You'll see it on this as soon as I take it off here. But, uh, uh, hold on, man. These, these things, these plastic covers are always a pain to take off. Hold on. Okay, guys, so what made it a pain in the butt is this ball here. You see that shaft right there? It's square end, okay? That square end lines up with this hole right here. Just like so. Then you lock this down. Make sure it's good and tight. You don't want this thing flying out. And there you go. It's solid. So, there you have it. Now you can adjust this. Um, you can turn it to whatever angle you want it to turn. Um, you, you want to turn this angle, guys. You don't want to turn this this angle very much because if you do, you'll kill the motor because you'll starve the carburetor or you'll flood it one or the other or you'll tilt it to an angle that's not getting a lot of oil in the motor and then you'll burn your motor up and, you know, you'll have a big old paperweight after you're done because it'll be junk. So... All right, I'll show you guys how it's working in a bit. Hold on. All right, guys. Here we go. So, 
guys like this content, make sure to give thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe. Later.